Back in January of last year, I fell into a big deep dive into Twitch. One of my favorite streamers is Foosley. I didn't see any of my friends in person for about a year and four months. And so something about having these streamers play in the background was really comforting for me. Another presence nearby. Something that got me through that time was reconnecting with creating these simple joys. In the summer of 2020, I made these little handmade gifts for my friends. They were kind of like love letters, how much I missed them when we couldn't see each other. One thing that I did learn how to make were envelopes. I loved creating them and passing them forward. I would use them in letters and little packaging. And I also just had so much leftover material from when I art directed before the pandemic. And so I would just repurpose them in different ways. One of my best friend is Nada and she moved back to Montreal. It's been a couple of months since we've seen each other in person. I took a MoMA course online called Modern Art and Ideas. And there was this one assignment that I just really loved doing. I just really resonated with this activity. Choose a painting from the image carousel on this page and write a postcard from the perspective of a visitor to the landscape it depicts. As you write, imagine what it would be like to spend a day there. I chose this painting, Evening on Fleur by George Seurat, who was one of my favorite painters French post-impressionist artist. I shared this with Nada and we ended up doing this with each other for the rest of the year. We had this Google Doc called Nada and Monica's Letters and we each took a turn choosing a painting from this archive and we wrote a letter in this perspective. And I do still owe you a letter, Nada. So when I reunited with the world back in July slash August of 2021, Nada was one of the first people that I saw. We sat in her backyard on this beautiful sunny summer afternoon. We had a wooden bowl of her famous lemon loaf that I got to try for the first Time. and we started a paint by numbers piece together. The intention of why I brought this for us to do together was because one, it became my newfound hobby. I think it's a really cathartic exercise for me to release this anxiety through this relaxing motion of painting. Also, I thought it'd be special if she had a piece of us in her home. We never ended up getting to complete this painting together and eventually she moved back. Paint by numbers specifically, it's truly a trust the process workflow and process work is my favorite style to articulate through and so maybe that's why I love doing them so much. I couldn't even really tell what was being created because I felt like it kept morphing into something different. This is the painting. I'm going to ship this. Um, the letter written in this postcard perspective of what I imagine someone spending a day here in this moment. A lot of the time, I even just gifted a pack of envelopes wrapped in twine because it's a small encouragement to some of my friends to make some things with their hands too. And when they're ready to seal it and let it go, I guess there is a piece of me in their process too. Talk to you later.